hey guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to learn about storybook like how to implement storybook in our react native app and make components so storybook is a library that provides us uh, development involvement for our components it also provides us the testing features and many other features so first we are going to run and install it on both react native cli and expo cli so let's just start with the expo cli so we have the documentation you can find the url in the description and uh, we are going to use react native here so you can use the url in the description box so we have the code right now so we'll open terminal and we'll paste our code bus but one thing is there that that we need to change our SDK version for Expo basically. So I'll change to the latest version. I guess it's 44. And I'll install the Expo app. Yeah, installing the JavaScript dependency. Yeah, I'll fast forward this for you guys. I'll hop into the code, the folder, and we'll open this into VS Code. Yeah, right now we have our storybook app that we install from expo i'll try to run this app first let's check this app by running it like how it looks and then we'll install the storybook extension library that is given in the documentation we can you can read out the whole documentation if you need any testing features and any other features Okay, so I'll copy this code and I'll check our code is running fine. Yep. So we'll copy this and we'll install our storybook library. Yes, so while it is installing, we can check the website. Yeah, it's done. So we now need to like uh, paste this code in the app.js first way i'll try to run this code yeah let's check how how it goes i'll refresh the app i'll refresh the app again okay yeah it's working now so it has some warning that will fix by adding the async storage as null yeah you can see you have to pass null in the async storage basically if you are not using that we'll go to the index and here we will add this async storage to null yeah so now it won't show you the warning message now in storybook we have different components and in that components we have different features like uh, in add-ons we have knobs and other features so when you click on that you can check what you have clicked and the functionality is working fine or not you can create a button and change its description like uh, it changes text and also check the uh, on click function here yeah so we have example from storybook that is button and welcome page here so we can check that all the functionalities all the code here has been already done while when you install the storybook it's been already done okay so we have a button and welcome page we'll try to remove the welcome page now so from the index when you remove this page it will be gone uh, i'll just refresh this yeah okay so now the welcome page is gone it's from the index so i'll delete this welcome yeah everything is running fine now okay so you can uh, make changes according to your choices basically and you have your styles and all the things here in button dot stories dot js so when you create a button component you can name it like button.stories when you create a 
text component you can name it like text.stories.js and here in the stories you can add more features like different types of button like here two types of button with emojis and with text so you can add more button also you can remove it also i'll try to add one button that is broke code and i'll change the on click action basically mm. okay so it's fine i'll just refresh this yeah you can see the bro code button here and you can change the text also let's just give it bro code okay and yeah let's just go with the text also yeah like uh, if you put the text here so you will get the uh, uh, in add-on you get the feature to change the text of the button basically so you can add a title also and your uh, default text basically right so when you click on the button it will show you the name like whatever you have written on the uh, action okay okay yeah so in text component basically we need to add a title and a default text just like the above one so we'll add the title for the button also yeah let's just save and refresh okay let's just refresh it and yeah it's working now and we go to bro code button you can see the bro code and we go to add-ons you can see the function name whatever we put and in this you can also see the title whatever we have written and we can also change the title and reset it whatever we change here it will be gone there yeah okay now let's move to the react native documentations so First, we will install our React Native uh, app, default app from TypeScript with TypeScript template basically since we are using TypeScript here. So we'll install that. I'll change the name of the app here. It will be Storybook. Mm, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have installed the app. Now just run the app. Okay. Yeah, just let's just run the app first. We'll do the pod install. We'll check it since it's I guess it's already done in the installation process. Yep, it's already done. Now we need to install the storybook library here. Okay, we have installed the storybook. And we'll update the app.js folder. Okay. Yeah, we will first check the app or app how it is working. Okay, it says okay, there is an issue. Maximum call stack. Okay. okay, I guess we had some issue. Yeah, I just need to comment the last line. So let's just refresh. Yeah, the app is working fine. Now we will update the code. Like we will export it to the story dot storybook js. Yeah, okay. So let's just refresh it. Yeah, this there will be some error in this, and you just need to update the metro config file now i guess let's try to run the app again so for this error we just change the inline required to false i'll try to install the app again so that it should work okay yeah now it's working fine so you can check 
we have the same warning message we will add the async storage as null okay let's just refresh this yeah it's working fine okay so we have the same components here as we check in the expo cli we have the same folder and all the things are same we have already checked this so in index we will remove the welcome yep it's working fine okay now just delete this okay it's just the same as we check in the expo let's just create our own folder uh, from there we will import our like let's create our own components and we'll import it to the storybook settings as a component so we'll create a button basically i'll copy the code from the buttons.story.js and we'll make it a tsx file here and i'll paste the code i'll change the code for basically typescript i'll create an interface here since we are using typescript okay i'll put those for children i'll put react dot react node yep so this should be a const okay i'll export this button yep so now we just need to create a functional component here we just power we will pass the interface button props here and yep okay so we have this inline error for on press um, we are using touchable highlights i'll change back to touchable opacity i'll remove this and i'll paste this we still have this error okay so on press is white function okay yeah so we will like this is the on press thing and okay so on press will be a void function here yeah okay yep everything is fine yeah i'll just move this yeah it's working fine yeah this was wrong earlier and yep we are ready to go we will add the styling here for our button basically and i'll put some background and border color yeah let's go with the border color i'll put it red here and border width will be one okay so this is our own component here i have made it separately from here so if i want to import that component i'll just change the address here the import address so i'll make my own i'll import my own component that we made in the components folder components button yep so we can remove this one okay so there is some import error okay so we have a wrong address here maybe i'm missing something but then yeah that's fine that looks fine okay okay just add this button yeah it should work now you can add different types of uh, like uh, styling for buttons like disabled button uh button with text a button with icon and you can name it like this yeah if it is uh 
primary button or secondary button right now we will just make a bro code sample and we will check this okay yeah. yes here it is so we have this button and if you click on the add-ons you can check the actions yeah and you can also change the action so that you can check which button is click in the add-on section okay let's just save it okay i'll refresh this yep let's go to the navigator button sample yeah let's just click on the button so you can see click on action is there whatever i have written and also you can update the knobs here since i have given the text and the title is button text and the button default text is hello button yep so that's it from my side thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it